of uh, uh, Rene when they talk about the the Ricky Banderas the story in Doiri. <laughs> well, good. Uh, hi everyone, welcome to another live stream edition of the Cafe Day. Rene James here. The star of the show, Mr. Rene Dupree, is running ten minutes late, so he'll be joining us soon. So in the meantime, we've got great company. Joined by a veteran of professional wrestling, the former Judas Messiahs, Mel Mortress. Today we know him as Ricky Banderas. Ricky, how are you doing today? How are you? How are you? Very good, you know, here in you know, the Florida. But, uh, you know, take, a, take a, some time off because my injury in my hand. Yeah, you just told me off camera. It was just mm -hmm. simple back cracker. And exactly. Like, it was a show here stuff. in Orlando, and then I just got a surgery. Uh, but the thing is, uh, 15 days later, so they get infected. So uh, that's why I just still having the medicine. And, you know, it takes time for the for infection. Uh, how long have you got left to recover? Do you reckon it'll be pretty soon or? Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully next year, you know. Hopefully next, next year. year well. But thing, uh, yeah, first God, you know, because he almost have five months without no action so it takes a little bit you know time to recover yeah so it's the longest uh layup because how long have you been wrestling now it's been uh well it was uh started in uh 1998 like professional right we're talking, we're talking about like maybe like 28 28 years old right you know maybe yeah 28 years so, and this is I don't, want to count it. I don't want to count it because it's sometimes when you count it, it makes you fall. <laughs> so I don't want to count it. <laughs> you know. And it's just long I, just, as, uh... I, just, I, just, I just do like like Apollo, like uh, you know, rocking my ball to Apollo. You know, keep yeah. punching, keep punching. That's it. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is the longest layoff you've had then in your career, this injury. Uh, well, no, because I got I just have that maybe like eight nine surgery right but it was a simple thing like maybe you know meniscus uh material cuff but you know bicep you know kind of thing like three months only uh but yes uh this is the the first one that peak you know it's like taking me like for five or maybe more uh, five right five right now maybe taking me three or four months more i don't know it just so depends of the medication they they give me so because it's very right. very strong for the for the uh uh surgery and uh um infection you know? so it mm -hmm. takes a little bit of time all right well i don't know where to start with your career you've been everywhere but i think one of the first well one of the main companies where you really broke out and they've just announced that they're going back to the roots uh tna yeah, no, we talk, we talk, I want to talk about um, 2007. About started. that time, yeah. 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 And uh, obviously Impact Wrestling, they've just announced that they're going to be going back to the TNA brand. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, you had a legendary feud with Abyss and James Mitchell's part of it. Yes. So yes. how did that come about, you joining TNA and this idea for Judas Messiah? Because it was such a great wow. character. What we're talking about like 2004 uh because abyss when we, he was started um he started in puerto rico right like uh, like he was in uh that territory iwa and then at uh, that time uh, iwa was the first company in puerto rico for the biggest biggest fans you know one one show it was be it would be like maybe ten thousand people, fifteen thousand people, Puerto Rico, and uh, that was a good territory to learn, you know. And in that time, I was there, you know, in IWA, and he, he will always. Uh, it was like kind of marriage. It was always wrestled with me, you know, and then he left uh, because Dosh Martel was there too. He was the yes. booker in that in that time too, and he left. Maybe in 2003, and I just tried to to go to TNA always or, or WWE, trying to those company. And um, well, the thing the thing was uh, they want me to 
uh, we sign we sign with them uh, with the TNA, and but I don't I don't want to do that happen, you know, because that time I was uh, you know one of the, the top guys in IWA, so they don't want me to they don't want to lose me, you know, and uh, well, we were t I was talking to um, Jeff Jarrett. You know, like he was the one in charge at that time. And finally, finally, when I just left Puerto Rico in 2000, in the beginning, in the beginning of 2006, I went to Mexico. And then uh, I was doing Society X. Yes, Wrestling Society X. Yeah. And from there, um, uh, Jeff Jarrett called me. He wanted me to right. be in TNA and... I was doing, you know, maybe one year and a half. And we were, we were doing good, you know. We we're doing, you know, the, the kind of story people like it, you know, Jess Messia and Peace, his, you know, his little brother and everything was, we, you know. But the thing is, I was, I have, I have uh, uh, the first champion of AAA. Right. So, they want me to put the, the, the you know the championship in this hand and go to to TNA and say I cannot do that because if I do that I would close the door in Mexico. So I just said I just told TNA um, I can sign I cannot sign a contract with you guys because I just uh, have uh, a contract with AAA. So that was the the time the. They say, okay, your the doors are open here. Whenever you want to come, uh, you're here. Here you can come. So, okay, thank you very much. And that was it. You know, right, it was it. No, it was a good run. Though. But James, someone I do have to ask about James Mitchell because he's he's a character in himself. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. James, my, James was... my friend. He's my brother, and I really uh, I just enjoy work with him. I just met him in that time, and believe me, we we, we do a kind of chemical, you know, just the first day, and and then we we we, we talk a lot, and um, and at one time I just stayed in his home, you know, uh, for one day, but I was was it was you know it, from from now I I just have his his phone number, and sometimes I just call him, you know, how he's doing everything like that because right now he's in. In WA, uh, yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So, so but I just still, I just still, almost twenty years in Mexico. So, um, yeah. What's the scene like in Mexico now? Is it popular? Is it still as busy as what it's always been? No, or... always, always, always still busy over there. Is that is that day off? Like you can go to a wrestling show Monday. Or you can go yeah. to a wrestling show Sunday. You know, it doesn't matter. Tuesday, Wednesday, they don't care. You know, they they just do they do shoot they do the show every single day. All depends, you know, the 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 state. Do you, do you go? You know. Yeah. No, it's because uh, like Renee spent a lot of time in Japan, and he's mentioned how the market in Japan's not as great as what it once was. But mm -hmm. from all accounts I've heard, Mexico, it's always busy so yeah, yeah what they're doing they're doing it right yeah but, well it depends you know because triple a the biggest company of mexico are two is cml yes and triple a now i'm i'm uh for maybe for five years i'm doing the independent wrestler you know but i just work with some time with uh cml Yes, and a couple of shows, and I prefer that that way, you know, because you know when you have a country over there, so uh, you have to stay there. You know, I cannot, you know, cannot go in anywhere. So. Uh, well, we've got a couple of super chats. Uh, some we actually had uh, Chavo on the other day, uh, Lucha Underground, and Chavo. Oh, it's my brother. I said, believe me, he's a, he's the creator of uh, Mil Mortis, Chavo Guerrero. Yeah, he's well, my. Well, before we get into the, uh, before we get into the super chats, actually, so Mil Mortis, obviously, you was the top guy in that company, and well, well, not the top top guys. guy. You know, people were there, a couple of top guys over there. But well, I was, no, like, no, I was, I was uh, like, like the the heel, 
the yeah. liking heel, you know, that just kicks on butts, you know, over there. You know, like uh, a real, real uh, kick butt because that wasn't for real. That was uh, for a joke, you know. <laughs> How did it come about the creation of that male Mortress character? Because it just stood out so much, like on our TV screens. And obviously, you had the manager with you, but it was just the whole presentation. Yeah. He was just this larger than life figure, like when we was watching it. So, how did that come about, the male Mortress character? Uh, because, the, well, first of all, they give me the character. Uh, Lucha Grande, they give me the character because they want uh, Beach's, you know, heel. And, um, but Peter was there, but Peter, he worked for me many, many years ago, you know, from because he, but Peter, he was the one who talked, and that's why I just went to Mexico, you know. Yes. And, 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 but Peter was always, you know, you know, keep my name, you know, when I, everything he, he done, like maybe uh, Society X, he was there too. And, you know, he's like kind of my brother. But they want like you know kind of vicious heel and Dorian uh, tell the, the people who work that character in Los Angeles. They told me like like me. They want me to be like that kind of heel because they they, they knew like I can do that character because mm -hmm. I got my vicious and I you know I have the messiahs if you see in YouTube and IWA you know I can, I can you know be some some vicious some good heel and bad heel you know and. And I like uh, I throw a guy like slash Ben. I just throw a guy for second floor, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was that was history over there. You got to see that. And it was IWA two thousand four. Uh, but the thing is, um, they want the that kind of character, you know, you know, you know, do the thing, you know, vicious. Hey, Renee, what's up? Uh -huh, amigo! What's happening? What's, what's going on? Line. Sorry, I had a doctor's appointment, ran late. Yeah, I was talking about something here, like Lucha on the ground. <laughs> talking about me, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Uh, okay. We're just okay. burying you, Renee, for burying you. In the end of the interview. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, Lucha on the ground, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're talking about the how they could become the character of me and Muerte. So I was telling him that like, they want the uh, like a wrestler, like a beaches, beaches guy, like. No, no, no stopping, you know, like he, they, they, they convinced I can kick some butt there, you know, for real, yeah. you know, they want, they want that. Mm. They're not, not fake things, you know, like punches and kicks, you know, they want the real thing. So everybody they, they, I spoke to, they loved that company. Were you any different or was that? No, you know, for me, it was the best company. That was the company because it wasn't a company. It was a, a TV show. That's the right. problem. They right. they, they, everybody thought there was a company and it was a TV show that's a shame because what well, they were kind of investor you know a couple of millions of dollars invested in that in that TV show right you know? yeah and there, were, there were there were there were there were there was a great times over there believe me those those four uh season that was great awesome show and that's what everybody says man it's like yeah yeah I fucking loved it that was uh, the whole thing you know how you know how is the dressing room, right? Yeah. In that in that dressing room, every everybody worked together, like okay. a kind of family. No yeah. ego, no nothing. What can do better? You know. Yeah. You know, it was that's like the a, key, man. Yes, yeah, you have a, a well-run locker room, and all your your coworkers right. get along. Exactly. It's smooth sailing, but as soon as you get the fucking, you know, yeah. you know that. <laughs> you yeah. Know you know how it is. So. That's when it's fucking difficult to go to work and you don't like it and you know. Yeah. But uh okay, uh did we get to the the story that I really want to talk about because <laughs> uh, No, I, I wait I waited for you. Legendary story. Like always always or you tell WWE? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the one that, well, it always comes up because yeah. you know People on here want to know about Sean and the one Sean story I, you know, I saw. Because I, I didn't know because I just left the building. <laughs> okay, so, do you, okay, the way I say it was this. Okay, yeah. and then we'll give you a version. Right? Okay, of course, yeah. So, you came in for a dark match. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. You looked great. Long hair, fucking good looking guy. I was like, wow, okay. And I, was I forget you. how much time they gave us. But Ten I remember minutes. you telling me, it's like, Amigo, I just had a baby. 
or you were having a baby or yeah, you yeah. just had a baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got, for that time, I had a kid, you know, two kids, two kids. Right. Two kids. And he's like, man, I could really use this job. And I was like, exactly. don't worry. Fucking, I'm, I wasn't one of those guys that was going to purposely fuck it up, you know, mm. to, to screw you. Because there was guys that did that. There was a lot of guys that did that. They would purposely fuck up matches, you know. I wasn't one of them. And then uh, uh, we had our match. But I remember you wanted to, you know, you were nervous and you wanted to do all kinds of like brain busters and spears and stuff. And I told yeah, you, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like here, man, if you it do anything- It was simple. Because right. remember, when you go there, there's a, it is uh, a big uh, rules over there. Yeah. No, yeah. Because it's not, you're not the same little companies that we, when I work here, when I work, working like IW in Puerto Rico or here and there, you know, be over there, there's a big company that have rules, you know, and you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know that kind of rules, you know, right? Because I nobody, they want, nobody tell me, hey, guy, you're here and you have to do this because here the the things are like this way, you know, and yeah. you never have that opportunity. I don't yeah. know, I just went there, it's like you, you that very much, and that was it, right? But the rules, the rules yeah. so, there were like you couldn't use any like. If Edge was on the show that night and you were a dark match, well, you couldn't do a spear because no, that's no, exactly, it. yeah, yeah. Tell me about yeah. that because yeah. I didn't, didn't know about nothing. Right, just, you, didn't, yeah. you weren't aware, right? Yeah, because from in that position to do a, 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 a that company for me was everything new. It's like, right. Okay, nobody to explain me that. Like right. I cannot do this, I cannot do that because yeah. you know disrespect or here and this. I, I just want to you know have a job. And do my best, you know. Right. That was it. That know? was it. But we had our match. It was very basic, simple, but it was good. Yeah. You know, but people was people was cherry, you know that way. Like, yeah, yeah. But I was like, look. What the hell did you do in the match that pissed off Sean? Did you? That was Sean. Fired up, I, right? I, I don't. I don't know about Sean because I never see him. I know. I, I just see. I just the people. The person who come to me was John. John Yates. Was, okay. He was the one he, because I was. I was uh I remember that I was giving the comeback. Mm -hmm. In the comeback, I just do this, you know, like ah. Right. But like yeah, you know, I go right went up to the the, the, the okay. Trees, you know, like yeah. Like a fire and, up. And fire up, you know. Well what and what had happened? It. What had happened? Sean was watching our match. Uh -huh, He's seen yeah. you fire up and in his yeah, because his I mind, never he saw you do this. Yes. Never, never, yeah. Never, never, never. I just I was doing like this. Right. You know, but, but, yeah. Then Johnny told me that he took you, took you to watch the match together and he yeah, said, Yeah, yeah. Is that what yeah. happened? Right. So, yeah, for, for real, what happened, but they put like an X when I do this. Yeah. They put like an X and never, and never see the, 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 the way you, you, I did it. So, okay. So you guys were watching the match back and then when you were watching it, there was an X when you, when I did this. Yeah, like a, like a rip. No shit. Like a rip, you know. Like oh, look at this, you know. No, it was that was that. And then, then did he kick you out after? No, it was it was like oh, it, 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 he talked to me like oh, you're, uh, you do the X uh, signs and suck it, yeah. Oh no, are you sure? I'm pretty sure, of course not, because I know it's the X, you know. Right, right, right. And then, then well. Uh, give me, give me five, give me five minutes of ten minutes. I don't know. I will, I will call you. Okay, it was like, what, what the hell happy? Right. No, and then he, he brought me the, the he come to the, with the TV or uh, the player right. the TV is uh, they put the cassette with <laughs> that that or uh, the DVD. I don't know. And they put the, look at this. And when soon when soon, soon we were fire up, the people yeah. Hey, yeah. I was doing this, and they put the X in the in the in the video. So, no. and then I was like, okay, so you see that you do the X and uh, I'm sorry, but you have to leave here. You have to leave. And then he told you to leave. Yeah. He said, you have to leave because we don't, we don't, we don't need people lying here. It's a lie. Okay. I didn't lie. So he accused you of being a liar. That's what he told you. That, yes. Yeah, so they're not, not accused me. They don't want, they don't want, want no lies in that company. So. That was the the, the, per, that was the thing. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe just to keep the mouth shut. 
And I just, I just left, you know, I said, okay, no problem wow. for the next time. Because that was, that was the, the, that was the, the thing about the second or third time I just would do the, 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 uh, dark, dark match. match. Yeah. Okay. And then in 2009, they gave me the contract. Okay. And because I just work, uh, I just do the, the same thing. But I, I was, you know, like working here and there, and they're watching. And John already said, "Okay, next, uh, I want to see you again." So, and then, then, then that time it was it was okay, you know, they give okay. me the contract. But the whole thing was, uh, they give me like three weeks for 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 move to to Tampa. Yeah, and they give me like three thousand dollars for right. for move. Yeah, and there was the last show. I don't know what happened. I just fuck up my arm, dislocated, uh, and from there, I just have the contract. I just, I just did like maybe like three or four times uh, drug test. I went to Philadelphia. I went to Mexico. I went to United States. Everywhere so I was like, whoa. They want to make sure that they want to make sure that the, the drug test. Yeah. So they drug tested you four times and how often? Three, yeah, how? Like three, three or four, four times. Yeah. So they thought you were like, were they? they no, no, no. I, I, I think I think it was uh, the, the the whole thing, you know, like uh, how to, you know, make sure you're you're okay, you know. Right. That was it. Because you know you know the anabolics and everything here and there, you know, they want to make sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Wow. So okay, so that was I just, make, I just, I just missed that opportunity in 2009. He said, "Really, that's that's awesome." And then, then and in the last show of AAA, I just please, please look at him. I, I showed him the the the, recurse, the, the rotator cuff. Rotator cuff. Okay. Yeah. And that was, and then I just wait for maybe four or five months, and they tell me your time passed. No, so, okay. Fuck. <laughs> and I know you got you got your arm in a in a what's going on with your arm right now? No, oh, here. Oh, yeah. yeah, I just have a. I was telling him, uh, James, to I uh, just uh, maybe five months ago, I just yeah. did a backcracker, you know, like this. Yeah, and I don't know how I just dislocated my my wrist. Fuck, and it's still so have, it's still messed up. The thing is. My bones are so hard, they break. They break the ligaments and the tendon. Imagine, fuck, man. So they they have they have the surgery, and then they would do the surgery. Fifteen days later, I have a fucking uh, uh, infection in my in my in my surgery. Where are you living now? Are you are you Puerto Rico, Mexico? Miami? No, no, I, I I just live in Mexico, but I here in, in in Orlando, Florida, right now. I live I live right now with my uncles. Oh, in Orlando. Yeah, yeah, I live here right now. Holy shit, man! Because I I just need I just need to stay here, because you know when you when you have an infection, you know everything like that. So. Well, you can't fucking travel if you got an infection. No, no, no exactly. I just, I just have to stay here to yeah. control and to, uh, get out with uh, the the whole infection. You know, uh, to, yeah, man. to get what? better. Yeah, okay. We, I cannot, I cannot, you know, uh, fuck around with that with that kind of. Uh, no, no, no. You don't want to go flying when you have that. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's dangerous, buddy. Yeah. So that's it. <sighs> Shit. Well, you're you got bad luck. I want to stay away from you. <laughs> but you know how it is. Sometimes for for all things, you know, maybe I went here, but uh, I went to 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 Lucha Underground. For me, it was a good place yeah. there, and they, and they you, and they everybody see you. You know, everybody right. see you. That Mill Mortez character, yeah. it yeah. got over big. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm from 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 that character. I went to uh, I go I go to Australia, uh, Germany, you know Egypt, you know wow. uh, Europe, you know, and the United States always work with, with like Mil Muertes. They they always yeah, you know all of the promoters. Ah, oh, you have to do the Mil Muertes. Okay, 
I don't, well, I'm man, not wrestle. I don't wrestle with that. Man, whatever gets there. you paid, right? Yeah, of course. I have to. I have to character. That's it. I have to that's character. It. You know. So okay, well, let's talk about that. You were Ricky Benderis. That's usually yeah. you know what you do, and then yeah, you were huh? Judas Messiah in TNA. Yeah, they, they give me the Judas Messiah because I'm Ricky Benderis the Messiah. Ah. Uh, and they put like Judas Messiah to do it, you know. Uh, different but that, that was a cool look, man. You always got a cool fucking look, like a badass, mm -hmm. like demon type. I don't know. Yeah, I, just, James, have, you agree? I just have the my countenance yeah, was the white ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah. They, you know, spitting blood that I can never see before. You know? Right. That's the whole thing. If you see something, like do something never be seen before. So, you know, they love it. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, we got some questions for you. We didn't go to these super chats yet, did we, uh, James? Uh, no, we haven't yet, Renee. Okay. You want to read them or I can read them? You want to um, read them? Yeah, I mean, you spoke about Lucha Underground. What's the reason why eventually it got cancelled and went out of business? Because it was after season four, season five, was it? Hey, look at this. That one. <laughs> money, 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 brother. It was it was one dollar, two dollars. It was like money the further I think I thought. They told me about like the first season cost like maybe twenty five million dollars. Wow! So we were talking about the first one, second, the third, and the fourth one is going to be the same or worse. You know who or knows? More right? Yeah, yeah but uh, who 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 made the money? I don't know. <laughs> I did it because <laughs> I had heard I had heard like four hundred thousand dollars an episode. Four hundred. Four hundred thousand nah. one episode. Oh well, one episode. So imagine 20, 28 million dollars for the whole season. Yeah, I mean, how many shows were in a season? Ten. Well, we're talking about maybe uh thirty-eight, forty. Right? Yeah, twenty-eight. Okay, yeah, the, yeah. the 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 last so was that four hundred thousand makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Right. Maybe, maybe yeah, because I knew that the the whole the whole uh place they rented. Right. You know, and it was fifty thousand a month just to rent the yeah. fucking place. Yeah. Exactly. So right there for one year, that's already six hundred thousand right there just to rent. Okay. You got it. So keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Right. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Yeah, has you, know, you know what it is? It, it was in Hollywood. You know, it was California. It was uh, 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 Oil Heights. You know, right. It was uh, almost uh, in the city. You know, yeah, man. The downtown almost uh, like ten minutes from downtown. Yeah, that's expensive real estate right there, exactly. buddy. Exactly. So, what do we got here? Uh, they might know you as Ricky Banderas Peroxide. Yo te cono conozco como el Mesías. So, uh -huh. Wow, yeah. ma puedes decir que Dios te bendiga, Mr. Krogan? Is that okay? Oh, that's all right. You get, you get good, brother. Really? Oh. Yeah, give me, give me five star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, the, it's the French. <laughs> Whatever he said uh, sounds cool. No, he's just saying, God bless you. You know, I, I, I know you like Messias in Mexico, so. Okay. Uh, oh, that's where it works. Which company did you have the most fun in? Hey, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Something happened here. Yo. What? What's happening? Something is wrong here. Wow. Which company did you have the most fun in? Uh, well, yeah, uh, it was Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. Yeah. yeah. TNA, TNA, was it? What happened? When you were in TNA, is oh. who's that? Who's that? Uh, your uncle? So, yeah, that's my uncle. I, I just hear something happened with the computer. You can see yours, but you can. You can't see us? No. No. Let me go back. James, what are you doing? Yeah, something happens here. Two seconds. Oh, well, you know, let me go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see you find it. Let me go back to that. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I wish I would have known that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to reschedule? Or? Okay. Right, right, right. Got it. Perfect. You're good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, man. I know. Uh, I know you're you're busy, so we'll just go through these questions, then we'll leave you alone, man. I don't want to. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so Lucha Underground. What about like TNA? They're saying they're having kind of like a resurgence now, and they're going back to TNA because they were Impact Wrestling, but I personally never stopped calling them TNA and I don't think anybody yeah. else did either. So what do you think about that? Because you work there. Do you think it's going to make a difference now? Believe me, because you know how it is, the, the storyline over there, you know, they, they keep the doing, coming different people, wrestling wrestler in TNA and then I don't know, something mixed up over there and they tried to change everything, the money, but well, too, too many, too many people. Too many people, so right it's now it's always uh, this man. Get real, it's always about this. Fuck. Yeah, you know how it is. So what can I tell you? <laughs> money, money, money. It's all you about know. money, man. But the Fuck. thing is that they keep you know in contra, like people they uh like having half a million dollars, you know, one million, two millions, who knows? You know, from, yeah, from one all... person, right? You know, right. It's different, you have a whole crew. And that's the thing, man. The ones that get paid the most are usually yeah. the ones that complain the most, too. <laughs> what? I wish you could do that. <laughs> right? What I wish you could fuck? do that. Anyway. So what do you do right now? What do you do, Rinny, right now? What do I do? I'm sitting on my couch and I fucking watch cartoons. That's what you I see do. see that? I wish I could do that. Damn. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, no, my father recently passed away about a month oh, ago, and uh, sorry, for the last year and a half, yeah, thank you. Uh, last year and a half, I was taking care of him, but you know, we have a family business, very lucrative um, uh, apartment building, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. rentals. So, you know, I take that over. I do this as a hobby. This is just a hobby, the just hobby. to you know, connect with guys, and I enjoy it. You know, get yeah. to talk with guys, and then it helps promote me to do a couple shows here and there. Get get out of the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Weekend yeah. or here and there, just to get nice, out of the house. Nice, you know. No, no, no. You know, I have no problem. You know, like ah, I have to go with this show and that show. That's, right. I don't have. I'm, ah, I'm not struggling. Oh shit, yeah. man! I gotta pay this bill or pay that bill. <laughs> don't worry about it. No dealing with that problems. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, I put my time in yeah. home, and now I can just have fun. And then I like to grow this because I can bring the boys on here. It gives them a platform to a promote themselves. B speak their mind if they got something to say exactly. and they want to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It gives it's like a open voice. Up, voice up, like, yeah. It yeah. gives them a fucking voice if they got something they really want to get off their chest. I, 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 I remember talking to you like 20 years ago, like uh in that dark match, and you were telling me like uh, your father have a uh promotion, wrestling promotion, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It was Atlanta Grand Prix Wrestling, he ran it for um well, his television show ran for about 14 or 15 years, but he promoted wow. for about 20 or 30, right? Wow. So um, that's something else, too. You know, a part of me would like kind of like to bring that back someday, you know? Yes, yes. So that's why. Oh. Please uh, share and subscribe. The more subscribers means the more eyeballs to this channel, which means more people could watch wow. potential matches exactly. that said I said promoted. Thus. Okay, <laughs> next question. No. Oh. Ah, shit. Uh, when you joined MLW, were you mm-hmm. expecting more from the Azteca Underground story? There was a lot yes. of buildup, but seemed to fall flat. You're awesome. I agree. You're awesome. But what, what about MLW? Now, I heard mm-hmm. that those contracts are just maybe good if you're starting out and you've never really been anywhere, but not so good if... Well, the right? other place, um, the thing is those contracts are... Those for them, not for you. That's right. kind of the whole point. That's you know, it. It's, it's not. It's not like a good business. You know, you can have to cancel um, your show because he like like my in my case, um, somebody somebody changed the date. I'm independent wrestler, and then they give you one date, and then when you you have another date in your schedule, they never tell you about the date they change right 
And right. then, and right. then when, when they give you the whole dates, you have to cancel the other promoters. And the other promoters, you know, you, you burn yourself with the other promoters. Man, I can understand both sides of the coin. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, it's it's a love hate relationship. You have to organization. You tell you know, you're the crew. Okay, this is this. This is your dates. Don't change it. If you change right. it, now you know, screw me. You know, like like yeah. uh, like a dependent wrestler. You over yeah. there in MLW. There, there are all are, are all are uh, like independent for me. Think yeah. so because they don't have they don't have no shows like like three shows a month or four shows a month they have one shows a month it's just one show a month they have right yeah yeah you know you can pay, you cannot pay your bills for one show that's yeah. right you know, yeah you have to keep but, i mean maybe maybe in their mind okay we we'll start s small and we'll build and then but i mean they're already in a lawsuit with wwe aren't they james is that what i heard uh yeah well, that's right yeah yeah what was the lawsuit over james uh, you know um let me double check that now uh use current i'll bring it up now um, yeah so if i'm not what the fuck was it uh, maybe contract tampering or something potentially or or something to do with uh promotional tactics that they did james is going to look it up okay. um but yeah i think it was like uh, did i lose it for once this week what'd you say james i think it was like tv deals like streaming and things like that mm, oh, okay okay it was like hey, and things like that question for rick what was it like working with both james mitchell and the monster abyss during your time in tna oh the, both both are my friends Especially Abyss because Abyss, I know him like fuck, maybe two thousand one. You guys went down in Puerto Rico. Yeah, of course, because it was he was a he was a starting wrestling, and they right. they, they put him in in that uh, uh, territory, in Puerto yes. Rico. And, yes, and we were big friends. And John Mitch, uh, Mitchell, uh, just met him in two thousand six. So great guy too. So both guys are fucking great. Awesome. Cool. Did yeah. you get anything, James? Yeah, it was just like uh, streaming services and things like that, basically. How it was like mistrust issues and something with contracts. But MLW, MLW tried to see WWE, but I think it pretty much got squashed. So I think That's WWE the thing, actually man. You can't suit. You can't sue a billion dollar company like Vince because he's got yeah. too much money. <laughs> too much fucking money, man. Always right. Always right. That's right. Saludos, Ricky. Como estuvo su tiempo on ECW Bendición? Okay. My, my, my time in ECW. Were you, hold on a second. The original? Yeah. For real? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. old are you, bro? Um, 47. <laughs> Fuck, you look young. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. So, how was the original ECW? I was okay, you know. I just went, I was been for almost seven months, you know, working with those guys. There was those guys are, you know, they're traveling a lot, you know. But the TV was in Philadelphia. Did um, were you getting paid? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. always. I don't know, I had no problem with me. That was for real. Problem. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Wow. Well, sorry for me, was, because Pauly is was a big friend of uh, Victor Quinones. Remember Victor Quinones? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was from Victor Quinones, guys, in Puerto Rico. So that's why okay. they pay me, you know. So they, okay. It's not, okay. It's not like, like be a lone wolf, you know, like go there by myself, you know. Right, I'm right. Like, I was handling, you know, like, uh, you know. The promoter versus promoter, you know. Right. Okay. Te mantien en contacto con Cybernetico. Okay. Do you keep in contact with Cybernetico? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's my friend here. Uh, well, it's my friend in, in Mexico. So, yeah, of course. All the time. He's my guy, kind of brother. Almost 20 years. Wow. Okay. And this next question is, what was it like to work with Cybernetico? Okay, it was good, you know. It was we were we were working like maybe, wow, that was the era, uh, two thousand seven to 
that 2009. We were working. Got, I got, I have a record, a record working in Mexico with in that in that moment, like 67 days in the row. No, no rest. That was, that was like. That brings amazing. me back. That amazing. brings me back to your dark match. Yeah, that was that because was that was a night. It started in that that kind of era because it was 2000, 2007 in 2000, 2009. Right, but I mean, like Johnny Ace, did he realize that? Hey, man, I don't have time to watch your show. I'm wrestling sixty seven fucking matches in a row, earning a living for myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So excuse me that I may not know what so-and-so does for a finish or what the guy you just hired or debuted last week what his finishes you mm -hmm. know i'm too busy earning a living working 60 70 matches in a row every night yeah. you know i'm on the road yeah. so that that kind of pissed me off you know what i mean yeah it was that was that was, that was tough you know but you know guys, guys know why you know I right know. right you know, how maybe that maybe that time is not coming yet maybe i just come in well, the future you know, brother, like a weekend or whatever. Brother, it's all who you know. And uh, you said you're friends with certain people that are in high positions now? Yeah. Well, there you go. And uh, cer certain people aren't there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Uh, I, love it. I love it when you do that. Oh, you do too much. 85%. <laughs> Backstage. Uh, any Katrina story? She made me feel funny as a kid. She oh. made me feel funny as a kid. <laughs> yeah, Katrina, look at that. Woo! God. That was, that was a compliment. There was a connection there. Me oh, Katrina. yeah. Was there a passion? Was there a passion? That was my friend. She, was my, she was my friend, you know. That time I was married. You know, but, uh, she was a nice girl. And she, we worked together. And the first time we, we, we together, we have the connection, you know, really. That was always pretty awesome working with her four years four years that's four years of your life huh yeah nice <laughs> <laughs> i know you the most in tna any abyss stories of course you just mentioned you guys are fucking pals yeah we're friends but any so stories, like any we start we start we start in puerto rico that's the whole thing right but like any rico. matches in particular that you guys had that might have been like you know uh, we were working doing the match in Puerto Rico, like the chair 50 feet. You had to grab it, you know. Uh, this come with this idea. We had to do this. And the face bomb over the top rope. You know, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, we do that. So we, we worked together, you know. We were still young, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, still yeah. so young. 20, yeah. 25 years ago. Right. 25 years ago. So we go to the top row. We're fighting, 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 and finally they just give it a kick in the top row. You know, Rabbi hit his hair because he's a big guy. Yeah. You know, he's a six, 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 six or six, five. No, he must be six, seven, six, eight. Yeah, well, well, I don't know who was that. He was big. He was yeah. big. So the thing is, I just give it a kick. I grab my hair. I just pull it down, like, do it that, like that face bump until yeah. the, until the rematch. So, so that was, that was crazy. So, do you catch AEW and current wrestling? Do you still watch it? I personally, I tried, man, and I can't. Because well, I, I don't have that kind of deal in Mexico because I just work and don't see AEW. But I wish you could go there, you know, like Bill Mortis, who knows? But right, I don't, oh, I don't know, I don't know the storyline. I don't know the the guys uh, that work uh, in AEW. Before they work in Mexico, like you know, uh, uh, Pinta, Phoenix, a uh, couple of guys. Oh, I just know them. So, uh, you know, that I'm would be. Do you, uh, hold on. Do you own the character Mil yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's yours. So yeah, I, I just, I just, I just, you know, kind of put the, the mask. It can be that that's why they change the like King Mil Mortis, like uh Mil Mortis in TV, you know, but they would change it. So there's no there's no legal boundaries on you using the name Mil Mortis. Because, because I just uh that time I just uh talked with the the, the person who made those characters and they don't have no problem with it. 
Wow. That's why I did. Tony, okay. are you listening? Yeah, Tony Khan, no. are you listening? I know you watched the show. Yeah. Just saying, bud. I wish I'm I could move there. Can be more than you can change it. But the thing is, just produce that, those characters. It's very different. You know. No, but very that. In that, that, that motion. In the, in that thing, in that they have a, a only place that character can be something is the, the dark order. Oh, you see that? You got, you got different things over there. Right. I just, I, I just, in this year, I was in the wrestling car, and I just, uh, uh, I just saw Daniel, Christopher Daniels. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I worked with him so many years ago, and right now he's a he's a uh, like talent relations. To talent relations, yeah. Wow. So I just talked to him, you know, like uh, he if you need uh, the character, I'm here, you know. You know yeah, man. No, give, me, give, me, give me the opportunity. Just give me the opportunity. You like it, good. If you don't like it, okay, that's, that's, that's fine with me, you know. But at least right. one chance, only one chance. Give me one chance. Why does uh, keep punching a pole? Yeah, uh, well, shit, they got a lot of luchadors there now. They got that. They have in. almost three hundred. <laughs> no, <that's>, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you so, shitting me? So yeah, that many in the contract? Fucking hell! Yeah. So. Well, what's three hundred one? Come on, sign them. Uh, He's a good guy. Why exactly? He brushes his teeth and flosses every night. Yes, Not any stories on La Parca. <laughs> any stories about La Parca? In La Parca or La Parca? Because there are two. Oh, there's all kinds of. Yeah, I think it's L. Uh, La Parca. L.A. Park's the original. Yeah. La Parca. No, La Parca. La Park is yeah. with. Uh, oh. L.A. Park, the original. It was in WCW. La, Par La Parca is uh, the the second one. He died. He died uh, like uh, he throw, he throw a, a topic, yeah. And Roach, uh, sometimes something happens, and he fell in the in the rail, and he broke his neck. Wow! And he dies. He dies uh, two months later. Wow! Wrestling spake though. Oh yeah! Oh, look at me. Yeah, it's Ten all surgery. fake. Ten surgery. <laughs> See his teeth. Yeah, four uh, times. Three times, sorry, three times I had to get them replaced. Imagine, that's not a joke. No, a it's joke. fucking expensive. Um, oh, Robert uh, Lee just gave a donation. Thank you very much. Oh, that's my brother, Robert Lee from Chicago. Robert, really? Yeah, I know him. Oh, okay. Number, number, number fan. This is my brother. Number Robert, one. you're my brother. Number, number uno. So what uh what do you got to promote, man? Like what uh are you weighing the heel? Are you still working with that fucking wrist or what? No, no, no. I just I'm just take time off. Okay. Because uh right now um I, I have the this problem with my wrist. But uh next year, you know, hopefully, you know, go back to to work. And uh but I, I just promote my 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 uh social media, you know. Like uh, right now, I'm having the uh, like King Mill Mortis in uh, in in uh, Instagram. So it's King Mill Mortis on Instagram. In Instagram. Yeah, that's where he can find you. And so, when are you gonna start taking bookings again? Well, maybe maybe the, when the doctor says what happened here. Okay, did he come here? So, so the when I start to uh, stake booking when the doctor give me the clearance. So there's no there's no idea when that's gonna no, happen. Exactly, exactly. That's no ah. idea. So we we well, the thing is, the whole idea is getting better, getting better. Just get better, get that. Where can fans support you? You must have a merchandise store that you sell your stuff, right? Well, in Instagram. Instagram, that's where yeah, everything's yeah. at. Instagram or my Facebook. The Facebook is Ricky Banderas. Ricky Banderas, everyone, yeah. please go follow King Morates. Let, let, let me show you. Let me show you my 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 Facebook because.
they have like maybe 10 freaky banderas. Right. Oh, yeah. I know the feeling. You got some fake accounts, right? Oh, like, my God. So, yeah, it's bullshit. It is. Like, here. This is my. Ricky Can you see it? Okay, so that's that's the Ricky Banderas Facebook account. Original, original Ricky Banderas. Original Ricky Banderas. So if so you're a promoter, to- podcaster, anybody wants to get a, in contact with Ricky, mm-hmm. reach him on there or at or King, Instagram or at Instagram. King, King Mil Mortis. King Mil Mortis. Yes, yeah, exactly. Follow the man. He's incredibly talented. I vouch for him. There it is. Thank See, you very much. written right there. Um. Exactly. So yeah, so okay. you're just gonna wait to get healed, wait till till you get better, and then you're gonna tear it up. And uh, yeah, first guy, so. first guy. I'm just praying, you know, like it's gonna be you know to yeah. heal fast because I'm right now five months without not nothing, you know, like you know trying to get him better. And you start I, you start developing a twitch right after like, five uh, months. Uh, yeah. You know, you know. But I mean, shit. For 47, you look you look younger than me, motherfucker. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> fuck? Bullshit. Oh, man. Any, any got anything for our guest, uh, uh, James? Uh, we have got one more super chat. We've accidentally missed it. Um, Wrestling Society X. Uh, any good stories oh. from that? Because that was a that was a complete actually. Well, it's more uh, a TV show, but I actually enjoyed it. It's on MTV. Yeah, it was an MTV. Uh, was in California too. Uh, that was weird because it was was ten days taping yeah and uh they canceled the show because that's what they told me i don't know because uh i throw i throw like a big fireball to vampiro in his face and he's burning his hair <laughs> they give me like you know that those paper you you know like they, they you, you grab you grab it yeah 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 they give me like 10 <laughs> you want me to, yeah, do you want me to show you this? this, this you have things? it? You have the video? No, I don't have the video, but you can see, you can see it in uh, in YouTube. Oh, okay. And the thing is, uh, <laughs> they grab they grab the all the paper. Like, you want me to show you this in your face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, bro. I just turn out those. It was like this big, and it burned his whole fucking head. And their hair, yeah, the hair, the face. Oh my god! You know, their eyebrows, oh. everything. Bro. Everything is eyebrows. <laughs> oh man! That and that's weird. what that, that's why they canceled it. That's that that's that's for me. They would tell me that I don't know because it was too much. Well, I remember, I remember watching, much. and certain wrestlers would come out smoking joints, and you know, that at, was crazy. That was crazy. But I mean, I, I'm thinking maybe that's why you guys got canceled. Because <laughs> this know, is they, like in the they, late they, 90s, they, you know. They, you're not they, to... they, they were seeing a lot of things. Those, those uh, that company started in 2006. No shit. Yeah, 2006. Because that was Teddy there, Hart, right? Teddy Hart. Yeah, Teddy. I just I met Teddy Hart from there. Yeah. Teddy Hart. Okay, so hey, bro. All right, Teddy Hart stories. There we go. Guys. Give us some Teddy Hart stories. Oh my God, uh, Teddy, my brother. Uh, he, he's a he's a character. Believe me, he's a character. Bro, I just take care of him in Mexico, like maybe for two years. Did you really? Yeah, of course. You know, how he, the he, fuck he lived, did you survive Mexico that? Being around him. For, how how could you be around him for three years and not kill yourself? <laughs> not get arrested, right? <laughs> <laughs> or get arrested? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a, it was a, it's a great guy, man. I love him, and you know, I always talk to him. But I always, I always have something to say. He had always something to say to me. Uh, I'm here. I'm there. And you know, what? I'm arrested. I'm in jail. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but you're too much. You're too much. Bro. Yeah, his that life. Not, his, not his life. Not his life. So total different. Yeah, man. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, shit. I hope you get better soon, man. I want to see you, you fucking rocking and rolling. And if Thank there's you. promoters out there, contact Ricky. I, I, I need to go to Canada. I need to. Go you want to come Canada. to Canada? Hold on a second. Hold on Devin? a second. Are you still talking with um, Devin? You and Devin are tight because he's uh, got that promotion there. Aren't you? Aren't you booked to come up here? Dev, Devin, uh, he Great North Wrestling. 
he, he never he never talked to me like, like I have to go over there to show. No. But you came up here, didn't you, for Great North? It was uh for one show only. It wasn't it wasn't like, like the 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 first area that was uh Quebec. Okay. So that that was okay. yeah. The French okay. area is Quebec, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, just one time I was there. It was okay. in 2019. 2000. Okay, but well, let's see. I worked say, at Toronto and all of those places, and I never worked there. There's you never been to Toronto? No, never. Fuck, man. There's a there's actually a Lucha only uh, promotion Look in that. Toronto. It's like just for Lucha. What the hell? What the hell's the name of it? Viva La Lucha or some shit. So, let's uh, let's listen. Let's keep in contact here, yes, sir. okay? Okay. And then, and ooh, hello. Yeah. Is that your biggest fan too, there, Ricky? Or yeah, yeah, of course. Of the course. Yeah. Fan. Yeah. Hola. <laughs> He's drawing the ladies for us tonight. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Well, uh, yeah, Ricky, just uh, let me know when you're gonna be better, because yeah, you can't do course. anything until you're better, right? Of course. Sir. Okay, we want to bring you yeah. up to Canada because uh, Ricky and Ben there is fucking go. It. He's a good appreciate worker, it. good guy. And uh, all right, man. Well, I wish you all the best, and uh, and I uh, hope to see you down the road pretty soon. Okay, my friend. Thank you very much, and thank you to to uh, being your show. Okay. All right, bud. God bless you. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Take care, Renee. Bye bye. God bless you.